Hey, fatty! How many calories are in one pound of body fat? Let's begin. So how many calories are in a pound of body fat? So pure fat burn, pure oil, pure oil, okay? This isn't body fat, pure fucking oil. I'm gonna show you how much calories is in that first. So one teaspoon of fucking basically coconut oil, pure fucking oil, is 13.6 grams. You got nine calories approximately for one gram of fat. That gives you 117 calories in a tablespoon of coconut oil. One pound equals 453 grams. Okay, we got 117 calories for 13.6 grams. That gives us one pound of pure fucking oil is 3,897 calories. The mainstream, if you go on Google right now or YouTube, they will tell you that a pound of body fat, of human body fat, is about 3,600 calories. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Okay, I'm going to go through this with fucking actual experimentation I've done to prove it's complete bullshit and prove that a pound of body fat is more likely to be about half of that. So human body fat is not pure fucking oil, folks. It's not pure oil, okay? There's a lot of other shit in there, electrolytes, you name it. It's not pure fucking oil. Metabolic water during a dry fast comes from body fat. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you guys through two experiments I did. One was a seven-day hard dry fast, and I'm going to go through the weight trend. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what actually happens, how much fat you actually lose. Okay, the other experiment was a 10-day snake juice fast. I'm going to go through that. Okay, so fucking pay attention. Hey, fatty, I'm back. So we got two experiments here. We got my 10-day snake juice fast and we got my 7-day hard dry fast. Hard dry fast meaning no water contact. Also called a black fast. So we're going to use these two trends to basically prove that the mainstream is completely fucked when they try to say that a pound of body fat has 3,500 calories in it. So if you look at the snake juice trend first, obviously my weight was really heavy at the start. I was fucking fed, okay? That's why there's a seven pound swing in the first 24 hours. So that swing doesn't mean shit. But if you go down the trend a little ways, you start to see a little bit of a pattern. It looks like about a pound and a half to two pounds of net weight per day. Obviously, because we're drinking the salt water, it's going to swing the weight around a little more. It's not going to be perfectly accurate. But either way, Let's say that it was a pound and a half a day. So according to the mainstream, that means that I was burning over 5,000 calories, saying that one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. I was burning over 5,000 calories per day laying on my fucking ass, which is complete bullshit. The whole reason that all these people that are fucking prolonged fasting on the snake diet can burn so much fucking net weight is because there's no fucking way that a pound of body fat has 3,500 calories. It's not fucking pure oil, okay? Now that's, look at the fucking trend. Look at the fucking trend. Look at my net weight loss. It's incredible. I was laying on my fucking ass. Now I like the dry fasting trend even more because it takes the water variable out of it with the trend. Look at how perfect that fucking trend is. Yeah, I swung like, you know, seven pounds the first day. But if you go down to the 72-hour mark on the dry fasting trend, it's almost clockwork that it's about three pounds per day because nothing's going in. I'm just losing more and more weight every day. So at three pounds a day, according to the mainstream, I was losing 10,000 calories or more worth of body fat a day laying on my ass. I don't think so, Tim. I don't think so. This is why it's bullshit. Okay, obviously during the dry fast, I'm burning even more fat laying on my ass because your body's trying to get at that metabolic water. Okay, so this is the whole fucking thing I'm trying to, de to fucking debunk. Okay, the mainstream is fucked. 
See, they can't fuck with me because I do these goddamn experiments that show the fucking truth. They, like, I don't know exactly how many calories is in one pound of human body fat, but if I was a guessing man, I'd have to say it's probably around fucking half of what they're saying, maybe 1,500, okay? End of the day, if you're not eating fucking any food and you're fucking in a deep fasted state, you're burning nothing but body fat in both these situations. Just one of them's gonna be more aggressive because you're not taking in the water and the body's gonna try to even break down more fat to get the metabolic water. You see, obviously, for people to lose a pound, a pound and a half, two pounds of fucking fat a day, there's no fucking way that a pound of fat is 3,500 calories. The fucking math just doesn't work. People need to do the fucking experiments or shut the fuck up. That's how I fucking prove this shit, okay? Now, just to get into the difference between the obviously the snake juice and the dry fast, I burnt more weight on that dry fast. Now, people always ask me, which one's better for weight loss? Well, if you're laying on your ass, you'll burn some more fat on the dry fast. But the thing is, the benefit of the snake juice is that you don't have to lay on your ass. You could actually drink the snake juice, go be somewhat active, and then you'll actually burn more than you would on the dry fast. You see, but everything being equal, if two people are laying on their ass, like I was in this experiment, and I, when I say laying on my fucking ass, I'm talking laying in bed the whole time. Like it's fucking... People are like, did you exercise? No. Like, look at the fucking weight swings. I was down a net weight of 25 pounds on the one, and I was down a net weight of what? Like, ah, fuck, what, 185 down to 161? Like, 24 pounds in the snake juice fast. Doing zero. Zero, okay? So just fucking don't buy into the mainstream. Do your own fucking experiments. Log your fucking weight. And fucking get that fucking fat in ya.